YouTube back again with another video, man. Eddie Scott, aka Sailor's Ed, back with another one. As y'all see by the title of today's video, organic versus paid. Right, this is a question that I get a lot, right? Which one is more effective for your clothing brand? Which type of ads should you be running for your brand, organic or paid advertising? Now, before we get into the video, be sure to do all the good YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Y'all go do all that fun stuff. Hey, if you're not in my six figure owners club, what are you doing? If you're a clothing brand owner and you're serious about taking your brand to the next level, and you're not in the six figure owners club, then you're actually not serious about taking your brand to the next level. So be sure to hit that first link in the description, hop in the six figure owners club. But hey, back to the video, organic versus paid, right? A lot of people think one is better than the other, or you shouldn't do paid advertising at all, or you should just strictly do paid advertising, right? There's a lot of different type of ideologies out there. At the end of the day, you should be doing both, right? So let me break down, first of all, what is organic advertising? Organic advertising is essentially posting content simple organic all organic means is that you're not paying you're just posting content and you're getting organic views organic followers likes comments like all the engagement but you're not paying for it in a sense you're not putting money behind it so whatever whatever you post on instagram whatever you post on tiktok youtube that's organic advertising for your brand right every time you post on social media even being in the streets with your brand could be considered organic advertising we're going to talk specifically about online and social media so anytime you post about your brand online is organic advertising now with that being said there are a lot of different strategies that you can use to enhance your organic advertising right i have a lot of other videos on my channel talking about you know a certain types of content to post for your brand right the two most important types i'll just break it down here real quick two most important types promotion content and value content when you learn to master promotion and value content especially value content that is what's going to take your brand to the next level so in short promotion content is just what it sounds like you are promoting your product your brand to the world so whether that be you take a picture of your shirt or you got a video of somebody rocking your hoodie right that would be promotion content it's specifically saying hey i have this product it's available go buy right now value content promotion content is good because it lets people know you have a product and it gets people in like that buying mindset or at least they're thinking about potentially buying your product now value content is what really is going to take your brand to that next level it's what's really going to not only bring in new followers new members of an audience but really engage them remind them why they love your brand right with my clothing brand, Sailor's Lifestyle, that I founded two years ago, three years ago, with my cousin, Sailor's Trent. We grew our TikTok pages to over half a million followers. Our Instagram to over 80K followers. All, not all, but yes, all through value content. We have promotion content in there, but we have value content as well. And value content was the major key, the foundation that took us to acquire all those followers so what is value content once again just like promotion content is promoting value content is providing value and that's what this life is all about man if you want any type of success you want anything in this life you have to provide value for it it's a quote that y'all probably hear me say often it says you are rewarded in direct proportion to the amount of value that you provide so if you want more followers on Instagram, you got to provide more value. If you want to get more orders for your brand off of TikTok, you have to provide more value. Business is all about an exchange of value and money. People give you money in exchange for the value you are providing them. Money is nothing more than an exchange of value. So the major key is to find out what type of value does your brand provide? Is your brand about motivation? Is your brand about fitness? Is your brand about fashion? Is your brand about awareness for a certain cause? Whatever your brand is about, you have to provide value to your target audience. Sailor's lifestyle. 
Our target audience is athletes, people who go to the gym, people who want to be motivated, entrepreneurs, right? Living that sailor's lifestyle, doing more and saying less, working in silence. That's our target audience. So we know that the value that we provide them and our clothing brand is merchandise that helps them live that lifestyle of grinding, working in the dark until the results come to the light. Right, and our content is just an extension of that. All right, excuse me, uh, my phone is tweaking over here. But our content is an extension of the merch. Our content is honestly a foundation of the merch, right? A lot of our designs that we may have put out came from our most viral post. And I'll probably drop a video of that later about how to come up with good designs for your clothing brand. Really, we will post motivational quotes, right? Those motivational quotes, let's say the average quote got 1k likes right we post one quote it gets 2,000 likes and we're like oh shoot okay people really like this boom now we're gonna go ahead and put whatever that quote was we're gonna put on a t-shirt on a hoodie and those will be our best sellers so organic content comes down to promotion content and value content so once you have a good batch a good foundation of organic content let's say you've been posting for a few months consistently I'm not gonna give you like a like a exact number. Like I'm not gonna say one to three times a day. I hear a lot of people say that. Just post as much as consistently as possible, right? That's what it comes down to, consistency. Consistency is the key to success. So once you are posting organic content consistently on your social media pages, then you can get into paid advertising. And paid advertising, all paid advertising is, is putting money behind your best organic post a lot of people ask me about what ads should i run for my clothing brand how should i design my ads i definitely do i have a video talking about the ad template that made my clothing brand a bunch of money essentially but it all comes down to what are your best organic posts right i'll talk about that in that video our best promotion content that got the most engagement without putting money behind it, that's the content that we put money behind to boost that post, right? A lot of people talk about, oh, like Instagram boost posts. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm saying boost the post. That's all paid advertising is. It's not complicated, guys. All paid advertising is, is you're putting money behind a post. And what I'm telling you guys is put money behind a post that has already done well that has already performed. If your post, let's say 10 posts, right? You post 10 posts and one of them does exceptionally well, put money behind it, right? Let's say you got 10 posts, even better. You got 10 posts and two of them do super well. Take those two posts, put maybe $20 a day on the whole campaign put those two ads inside their campaign, let them spend $10 each over a span of one day, two days, see which ad performs the best. Come on, my G. See which creative performs the best. My bad, y'all. I'm not trying to get in a car accident here. But see which ad performs the best. You got ad A and ad B that you put $10 each on. Let's see after two days, ad A brought in, let's say 100 link clicks and two orders. And ad B got... 150 link clicks and four orders which ad are you going to put more money behind right so then you can maybe cut the one put the other ten dollars into the ad b now you got twenty dollars spent on ad b if it keeps pushing p if it keeps bringing in revenue and good traffic to your website double it up to 40. so that's the simple ad strategy that i recommend you guys use for your paid advertising it's simple guys just take your best organic post right don't try to think super outside the box and try to do all these crazy ad techniques and save your money guys you don't want to be throwing money down the drain so take your best performing organic post and put money behind it that's all and how simple paid advertising should be for your clothing brand so in saying that that's essentially the end of the video i just want to make sure you guys know that when it comes to organic versus paid advertising you need both right now in saying that you may reach a certain plateau a certain limit with organic advertising but like i said when you put money behind it and you turn into paid advertising then it gives that 
post that boost that it needs to reach however many people. Let's say organically, your uh, page gets about 10,000 views per post, right? Say it gets 10,000 views per post. And so 10,000 people saw the ad, or excuse me, it's not even an ad yet, just saw the post as soon as you posted it on your regular page, right? But as soon as you put money behind it, then let's say you spend a thousand dollars over a month, right? Now maybe instead of just one thousand people seeing the ad, a hundred thousand people see the ad. You see what I'm saying? And so really focus on putting your best organic content as your paid content. And last thing I want to say, it's so important to use your best performing organic content because of social proof. And that's what I'm going to end the video off with. Social proof. So when you are running ads for your clothing brand, if you just simply go inside of the Facebook ad manager, TikTok ad manager, and you just create a new ad, like from scratch and go to post it, you can do that. But one, you're not, you haven't already tested organically. Like I've been talking about this whole video. You haven't already tested organically which ad is going to perform the best. So you're kind of just throwing money to the wind. You don't really know. And then two, you're missing out on social proof. When the first person that sees the ad is going, when you put money behind it, it's going to have zero likes, zero engagement. And so people respond to social proof. You're more likely to buy a t-shirt if you see it has 100K likes and 5K comments instead of zero likes, zero comments. You see what I'm saying? So when you use your organic posts and put money behind it, then as soon as you put money behind it, you throw it inside your ad manager, you connect your Instagram account to the Facebook ad manager, you use TikTok Spark ads, right? So you use your TikTok account in the TikTok ad manager. You're jumping out the gate with the head start, right? So when people see that ad, it already has a good amount of likes, a good amount of engagement. They come to, they could click directly to your page and see that you're an established brand and that makes it more likely for people to buy your product. So with that being said, that's the end of the video. In short, you need both promotion content and value content for your organic content. And then with that being said, you need both organic and paid advertising, right? It's not one or the other. You need a good mix of both to have an effective brand. So with that being said, as y'all see me trying to park over here, I'm about to get up out of here. Y'all have a blessed rest of y'all day. If you're not in the six figure owners club yet, I don't know what you're doing. Click that first link in the description. I'll see you in there. Let's have a blessed rest of our day. Let's go.